there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. I've got a new player of Marvel Heroes Omega here sitting next to me. I've been kind of giving them, like, stolen the virtues of it. And we're going to do a couple of unboxings of the Marvel's loot boxes, but I wanted to do it while I was using Black Cat, well, the unreleased or currently released in the United States, but not an EU character. And um, the problem was I can't put her into the place I want to actually do the unboxings from. So I'm just going to run you through or show you the first couple of missions of the game that are okay. available. So essentially, uh, you've played Marvel Heroes Omega, or not Marvel Heroes Omega, you played through uh, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance at some point. I played Alliance 1 too. Yeah, so pretty much this plays like uh, Ultimate Alliance. Instead of having a team of four, you're on your own, but there's all these other players that are hanging around you at the same time. So let's see, I'm just jumping into the story and we'll go into the prologue. Uh, I was liking the idea of being alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry, most of the time you're alone while playing it, but you don't have the ability to switch between four or five team members, but every time you go back to a base, you can switch characters. And the leveling system goes from 1 to 60. You max out the character and then you can, you can reset it and prestige it. But um, pretty much it's all about just playing from the lowest level. Basic controls, you have four attacks at the top. You have a dumb movement attack. You have a weapon attack, which was a mine in this case. And basic attack, which is just taking shots at them. So I throw mines at people, looking around there. You can't see me, sneak up behind them, stab them in the face. Because Black Cat turns invisible for a few seconds whenever she does a movement speed. Bam, bam, thank you, bam. That's what she does. Obviously, the I'm level one now, so like this is like the first mission in the game was actually on the raft. Do you know what the raft is in the Marvel continuity? It's the um, like the base from Ultimate Alliance, I think, or oh, it's the prison from uh, from the Ultimate series. I think they actually have it in the main series now as well, after like Civil War. Now, of course, we're fighting some Hydra boys that have uh, decided to take over the raft and try and release all the prisoners. Which they're feeling miserably if I'm actually doing because I'm kicking their asses now. How did they get into this maybe? I just realized I've already leveled the level three. <laughs> yeah, well, that quickly. Well, it's, uh, I'm using boost. So see the way the on, on my bar where there actually is like an orange boost and a green boost and a blue boost. Yeah. Each one of those is for um, blue is for currency, silver, uh, green is for my exp, and the brown is for my uh, for unlocking supply boxes. Uh, supply boxes drop you gear on a regular basis so essentially i'm just going to jump in here um i've got nothing gear wise that i can have for her character but i have a lot of stuff that's been sitting in my pockets from other missions that i've done completed with other characters so things like artifacts and stuff but most of them are going to be too high of a level for me to wear because they came from other people's games checking here is anything it's, i can use this looks like it's going to escalate into one of those like mad menus like we had earlier on it's just like here's the thing <laughs> and put over here well well that. you speak of that welcome to the skills menu <laughs> oh god here so um essentially one of the things you get, you get in it is actually you have um different skills you unlock through time um nor more that little bit that was just me leveling up my character where you touch with free stuff that i have um the powers are essentially unlocked as you go through up through levels so the first one come at four then at six then at eight then 14 so it would say exactly like the way on the alliance was played Simple enough so far. Yeah, and then you just sync them to uh, two sets of buttons. So you have one, two, three, four, then hold down L2, and you have one, two, three, four. So you have eight skills in total for any character. So you have to pick eight skills out of this that have worked together the way that you want to use them. So I'll unlock, as I unlock them, I'll show you, but um, we don't really need to worry about the rest of this stuff right now. Uh, one of the things that is actually beneficial to play in the game and having a number of characters completed is that you can actually get attributes from syncing yourself with a bunch of other characters. So I imagine since this is Black Cat, she's going to use a lot of uh, melee attacks. So I'm just going to put the characters that give me melee up, uh, bonuses and damage against enemies and health bonuses. So people like Hulk or whatever else. Um, yeah, Iron Fist is going to be useful because it's hand-to-hand -hand combat. Kitty Pride gives me dodging. Magic gives me health on hit. Um, Nightcrawler gives melee damage. And nobody else there really is going to be... Oh, Squirrel Girl is going to be useful versus bosses, actually. So I might grab her and use her to replace Hank McCoy. And then you Spider-Man to replace Black Widow. Yeah, that makes sense. Because anybody who's 60 gives you more things than the people who give you 5. Uh, or, or 25. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I'm starting to mumble to myself because I'm actually starting to get too into the actual technicalities yeah. of this. Essentially, like moment. Yeah, I was in the moment, but essentially like that's that's my character. Even though I haven't leveled her up at all, she's probably about oh, 200 times more powerful than she was before I actually did that. So you'll see how quickly I can take people out now. Yeah, so it's going to make it easier for me to run through these levels a little bit faster. So the main thing, the reason why I'm actually leveling up the character, like I said, is like certain places are only accessible after you're a certain level. And running through this quick mission will probably jump me up between 
level one level one to level six probably and show you basically the mechanics of the game um if i wanted to i would have gone to a different place and fought different enemies because they would have given me a lot more exp but this is the, this is literally the first mission in the game you play no matter what character you play as boom up to level four see the way i was actually getting losing health there as I'm punching him, I'm actually recovering my health as well because of um, a couple of those skills that I grabbed that were um, like get health on hit. So I was actually leeching health off of them every time I punched them instead of me having to use my healing bonuses. Living laser is going to jump over there and be an asshole. While he's doing that, I'm going to just grab the free skier that I got from that fight. And I am going to look at my attacks if I get a new one. So three there. One, two, three, four. And there's a four fifth attack there. I'm gonna throw maybe this one onto here. And I'm gonna throw that one onto here. That makes sense. One of them's gonna be poison, one of them's actually damage. I can use each one of them. As I run down here, I can throw poison grenade on them. And then throw an explosive grenade. I'll kill them mostly, and just walk in and finish them off. It's gonna be a lot to remember. You're gonna be like, oh, let's see, explosion grenade, then a poison. Oh no, I memorize. <laughs> don't worry about I, that. I, I got this covered. <laughs> I, I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, this guy's not gonna last very long. <laughs> You're sucking. It's quite an intense battle for the first level. Well, I suppose, I mean, I remember, like, the first time you would have played this, you would have been playing this without any of the bonuses that I've got so far, so it would have been a lot, it would have been a lot more intense, but for me, it's literally like, eh, this is nothing now. Can you see the difference between the uh, normal attack that I was doing there, and whenever I do this L2 and swipe? Can you tell the difference in damage and stuff? It's actually making a bar drain on the bottom of the screen, if you notice, which then refills whenever I'm using this one. And essentially, you're spending a little bit of your strength, the recovers there, to actually... Do more damage for a short period of time with your combos. It's kind of useful. Boom. Down you go, boys. <laughs> Check it out. See it in the background? Uh, you'll probably see after I kick a couple of these guys' asses. <laughs> See what came through the portal? Or the skin containment? Venom. We are Venom. You're essentially watching a bunch of the enemies escaping now that you'll actually be taking, over, taking on for the rest of the game. So like I said, I need to get this character up to level 10 to do the thing that we're going to do. But I thought, right, running... Running... Uh, Black Cat from level 1 to 10, for people who haven't seen the character in action before, it's probably going to be useful for anybody, and same for yourself, actually never haven't played the game. At least the first boss of the level is actually Green Goblin. It's going to be something interesting. It's, it's actually appropriate for Black Cat, actually. This is a Spider-Man character. Yeah, so... <laughs> Let's play! You're not Spider-Man! I'll get you, Osborne! That's the last thing I do! I was re-watching some of the classic Spider-Man cartoons, and the guy who played Peter Parker in it has a fucking evil sounding voice whenever he gets angry. I can't think of the last time I ever saw it. Like, the, the, old, the old 90s one? Uh, I was thinking way back, like the 60s. Oh no, I'm thinking the, the 90s the nineties one that we all used to watch, the, like, Spider-Man. I actually... Wow, wow. I can remember... Uh, a video I had of it was like you know those compilation videos back in the day. Of, mm. I had a couple, of, but it had a bonus Spider Woman episode, which actually was pretty good. The Spider Woman from like the nineteen sixties one. The Spider Woman from the nineteen sixties was a pretty badass cartoon show. Actually, enjoyed the hell of it. But you know that she was created. I think Spider Woman was created for that cartoon show though. She wasn't actually. She didn't had. She hadn't had comics up until that point, and they created her as a de facto kind of version for her for the TV show. And then that was actually. Someone that made uh, Marvel pretty pissed off about because essentially they, they didn't own the rights to the character. I think I know there was some legal battle related to Spider Woman because she wasn't directly created by Marvel. She was actually created by a production company for the cartoon show or for another piece of media. 
that they had a de facto character to run across. And then Marvel had to create a comic afterwards to try and reclaim her back, going, no, we own her. We own the character. We own the IP of Spider-Man. Because, like, that was the biggest problem Marvel had. They, they kept losing their characters to different things all the time. So, yeah, I uh, did the first mission there. Level 1 to level 5. Um, didn't really get that much gear or anything from it. So, I mean, it's probably a little bit here to upgrade with. Belt as well. Boots. You know, like, all these are, like, really low-level gear, but they're at least a little bonus. Everything you can tell, as long as it actually has a... I'll, I'll unequip this. Uh, anything that has pluses on the greens. So you want greens, you don't want reds. So that's, a, that's literally... You don't even have to memorize what's on there. It'll tell you most of the time. Unless you're really getting into the minute of the stuff that you're getting. Um, it doesn't really matter what that generally says, as long as it's actually in the green. So it's pretty easy to go through. See, all these are going to be green because they're all high-level gear. Like, oh, there's a couple of low -level ones I can use. Um, explosive powers, that's going to be useful. And is there any artifacts I can wear yet? No, they're all like level 15, 20 and stuff. That's grand. Uh, let's jump on in here into the next mission. So, essentially after you complete the RAF mission, you just go to, you get a cutscene. Uh, the, the, the chat about the 1960s cartoon shows, all the cutscenes are done like the 60s cartoon shows. <laughs> the sliding comics over screen and stuff. I do like it. They actually like the animation style they chose for it is quite enjoyable. Um, I'm not. I, I want to see more content made for this game. Like even whenever you log into this, like you're going like like this is a Daredevil mission, even though you're not playing. It's goddamn Daredevil ever. But Daredevil was the free character you got, so they're kind of like right. Well, here, like you're gonna we're gonna actually do the first chapter. You might as well give you the character that actually relates to the first chapter. <laughs> Pretty much how you defeat the Rhino every time. Stand, wait for him to charge, move to the other side. Is it just, is it the fact that Rhino like has too much momentum and he can't stop himself, or he is just too stupid to remember that this is going to happen every time? Or that every time they do that, it gives him enough brain damage that he forgets? Well, I suppose no one's ever actually really tried it without an actual Rhino, so... I mean... <laughs> oh, but the dude's stupid. A uh, Rhino would be less stupid. Well, it's never been tried. <laughs> well, all I've seen is just people crawling out of a rhino's ass. Agent Coulson. Oh yeah, Coulson's actually your first contact in the game as well. Another character that actually exists in the movies and then got added to the comics later on. So essentially, in this first mission, um, I, I, this is what you, this is actually a patrol area. So you'll, I'll see a lot more people running around in it. Like or other games, you probably already saw Hulk bouncing down the street there. Not too many people out in the street, is there? Ah, uh, well, I mean, essentially, this is, like, this is like the opening chapter area, and I'm just literally running straight to the mission parts to so kind of level up my character really quickly. Um, normally, you would just kind of follow a pointer on your map and work your way around and search until you find stuff, but I don't know where. I think I've played this, I've completed this, like, this game with, like, 12 characters so far running through the entirety of the story missions. So I've, like, I've memorized where absolutely every location is. So even though I know I have to go left here, I think it's better for me to go this way. Because if I go this way, I might take part in... An alert that pops up here where I have to punch a guy who's trying to break out and burn the place down. And two minutes. No, oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> don't worry, I, I think I've got this covered. <laughs> Level six already. I love the fact that this character actually has poison attacks. Like, they're rare enough in any of the characters that you actually have so far. Um, Oh, so many of them overlap over each other as well. Oh, so you can actually they recharge faster than you can actually drop them. Why, yes, There's actually going to be a lot of fun had with Black Cat, actually, as a ga like gadget controls. Um, yep, so the, there's rooms that you spot along these maps that aren't the main place you're meant to go. Golden rooms that are essentially just treasure rooms. So this is like the first treasure room you'd actually encounter in the game, where you can just kind of go in here and go, right, drop a bomb on you. Go over here, punch out the little guys that are down here. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Die, die, die. Grab all my gear. Run over here. Do the same thing to these guys. Every other, every other active gamer. Just follow the black cat. <laughs> well, this is because she knows where she's going. So mostly, all these rooms will spawn only for you. So these are rooms you can only go into on your own. I don't think, unless you're actually partying up, unless like you picked up a controller and played this player too. Now, it wouldn't let anybody else join me because you have to be in a party for those rooms. 
because they're like eh, they're not this is the patrol area wherever we be in but each one of these rooms are like individual instance instances so yep like that disappears again you also find rooms like this boss rooms in the very early parts of the game or anywhere in every single chapter this one is where if i want to go in and fight electro immediately really early on in the game um this is actually probably the first one you can fight and it's actually very easy to win this fight so i tend to jump in here and use it for the levels you can probably pick up two or three levels if you're using the um experience boosts these boss rooms have been nothing but hassle since we built them wait <laughs> why do we actually leave the city full of warehouses called boss room that was quick well that's not a boss i haven't fought electro yet i'm gonna let those guys poison let those guys poison blow these guys up I think they all died just from the poisoning. I feel like the challenging aspect is quickly sort of going at the <laughs> so, But it's like, normally there is a challenge to this game, it's just the fact that, uh, like, you know, whenever you get so kind of used to playing it, plus I've maxed out that many characters that my characters' base stats are like way, way higher than they should be. I think the, that's the, uh, the benefit of playing the game enough times that it actually becomes easier to play. So I've beaten up enough guys to make the boss appear. Oh no, there's a glitch that happens sometimes. Alright, I got stuck in a spot, attacking. I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy, unless he does that. <laughs> oh, uh, I thought the offense got a big bomb on him. This guy's still standing there? Get out of the way, die! Mommy! <laughs> I actually like the dialogue from some of the actual grunts and stuff. Oh, shit! So those big attacks will always do enough damage to you that you don't really want to get hit by them. They even if you are like a little bit overpowered. Good habit to get out of their blast zones. <laughs> Blew him up with the like explosive with the last one. So all the gear you see drop from it, um different colours, different rarities of course. So the blue light blue stuff is actually a higher rarity than the green stuff. Boom, level fell. Um always whenever you get to the higher once you pass level ten, you get something like this. You get to be able to traverse quickly across maps. So you're going to see what happens once you can traverse quickly like this. Uh, obviously I'm using some kind of like Spider-Man or uh, Daredevil where I'm swinging across rooftops. So uh, pretty much from this point onwards, we don't fight anything until we fight get to bosses. This is the easiest way to actually just run through the game and just max out characters. So go in here, a level for completing that bit. Just go from level, level 11 to 13 just to put... Yep, <laughs> because of the way I've been playing this. So I actually run in here, move on to the next corridor. It's running through here. I'm going to spawn a bunch of sim boots. I always see these guys just because I feel like it. Ah, why does it not let me see that, dude? There we go. Get them. I'm just going through this door. <laughs> You're going to see that actually like, the game goes from being difficult to actually be a lot easier. I'm just like, I can ignore all of these guys because they're such just like side fights. Obviously, you can tell with the symbiotes, it's all going to be like, um, it's all venom related in this area. This wee bit you can't actually skip, you have to kill enough guys to actually give them enough time to survive. You have to finish off soon enough. There we go. And once that kicks in, it's on a meter. Kills off all the guys that are in the room. And go on to the boss. Take on Venom. Remember, I'm level 14 now and I still haven't added any of the skills I gained since level 8. So like a whole bunch of like optimization I'm gonna to make to this character as soon as I finish this fight. <laughs> and that's him dead. This is gonna make things interesting. Boom. Right. So, uh, new gear, obviously, better quality stuff, jump into that. There's a fair amount of new quality stuff in there. Stuff's a little bit better, that stuff is better. There we go. 
Nothing there. Nope. Two claws. Got those. Two masks. Got those. Yep. Two medallions. Venom and whatever else. Don't really need them because I'm actually enjoying using the explosive one that I got. And... Yeah. So, we're going to take a look at the skill sets now. Um... Literally, we're going to do this. We're going to go into the next bit, and then we're going to stop because we're we've got enough. We're at the high enough level now. We can go and look at that face that we we're going to look into. Yeah, we still got time to push up to about fifty or something. <laughs> I know. I literally, I could, I could. It's one of the things where I'm thinking, mindful about time when we're playing. This is about twenty minutes. So in twenty minutes, you can actually like with the buffs and the character, you can go one to twenty so so quickly, and that's enough to actually start doing like um heroic challenges, which are like increase the difficulty of the game or super heroic challenges, which takes it up another notch. And as you go up, you get more exp and better loot and stuff. Uh, from the game so at this point now the character could almost be ready to go and take on like uh, the red skull and increase the difficulty of the game by default it makes everything like a little step harder it goes all the way up to cosmic difficulty for like the high-end players or the end game players so yeah you got traps on one side claws and whips on the other so poison traps explosive traps never going to get rid of those that's too damn useful crack the weapon your enemies literally does damage um high attack speed has spirit so it's a long range version of that claw attack uh grappling whip Use your custom-made grappling hook as a dangerous whip, hitting enemies around you. So it's a AOE attack spinning around you, which is going to be damn useful. In fact, I will take that for that right there. Uh, come here, kitty. Your grappling hook can be used for more than just grabbing around. Pull enemies towards you and show them that. Ah, oh, so it sent you a get over here. Um, twirling claw, claw attack. Lash out nearby enemies with your claws while diving into the fray, so it leaps in and attacks. Show the world that you're the best cat burglar it's ever seen by dropping into stealth with a well-placed. Oh, smoke bombs. So, yeah, that'll disorientate enemies, and then I'll start whipping the shit out of them, and that'll actually be pretty cool. I think that's actually a decent setup for uh, her character set, don't you? I, the thing is, you tend to actually focus on either your, her traps or her claws and whips on the end game content, but as it is now, you can just use whatever you feel like actually is going to be a cool set, a power set. So, just use the whips like that, swinging around you. Smoke bomb! So I think there is a Doc Ock fight right around the corner. So we'll fight Doc Ock. That'll take us back to the end of the chapter. And then we'll actually move on. As you can tell, I can just kind of skip over most of this content. The, the thing is, on these big maps, there's a lot of cool stuff to get. There's actually like secret rooms. There's uh, little uh, alerts and events that pop up. Like that. Alert that some people actually just finished this one right here. Where the biker club has gone wrong. Um, all these alerts and stuff. If you complete all of them, they're towards getting your trophies in the game. So, if you don't want to do them, you don't have to do them, but it's worthwhile doing them all at least once. <laughs> oh no, it's Shocker first before we go to Doc Ock. That's right. We'll, uh, we'll do Shocker and then we'll actually finish it up. This is actually a pretty cool... Uh, the, it shows you the way some of these uh, missions are done. So, whenever you load into a place, like the Abandoned Subway or whatever, there might be like three or four map variations that kind of pop up. But uh, most of the time, you'll actually find the same common one. And normally you would have to go up here and around, but because you're swinging, you can go over that gap. It makes it easier to get through parts of the game. Swinging, swinging, swinging. Swinging, swinging, swinging. It's like nobody can stop you. And that's the boss room. Like large mobs, like large groups of guys are kind of worth fighting them. I feel like I should get my stopwatch out for this one. Whatever, how long I can take the fight down. Boom. Ah. God damn it, guys. Die. Ah. Oh, missed him with that. Him down. Ah, <sighs> that felt gratifying. I kind of wish I got him up to got her up to twenty though. It's like it doesn't feel like a rounded number. But yeah, essentially, at any point in the game, whenever you're uh, in the middle of a mission or you just finish a mission, you can just hit this, and it'll take you back to the last uh, headquarters you're in. It's useful for if you want to go back, drop off gear, uh, clear out all your pockets, get rid of the crap that you had. Let's see the way I actually had empty pockets earlier on, like near enough to fill my pockets again. So I can just go in here and drop off crafting materials. Boom. Crafty, 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 crafty. Ooh, come on. Oh, shit, no. Ah, oh, I'm being an idiot. Did you just realize what I was doing? 
I was pulling it out of my storage instead of pulling it out of my pocket. Same you could have just told me that I was doing the stupid thing. I, I was looking at her going like, wait, why is there so much in her pocket? Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> I wanted the fine stuff. So <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, consumables. Is there any? Well, it's in the misc. Oh, these are actually, uh... yeah, those. So, yep. And one of the things you do in the game is that you actually level up your crafting equipment and your people who do your crafting. The easiest way to do that is actually go in and give away all the gear that you don't need. So you would actually like equip that because it's better and then get rid of the old one. Everything better there. Oh, they equip that and then get rid of the old ones. Boom, boom, boom. And all this levels them up by giving them EXP essentially. Oh shit, no, I did not want to do that. And get rid of that, get rid of that. What like that. I'd rather go in for like more attack on the lower levels so I can kill things quicker. It helps me get through the game quicker. Uh, that's all the stuff that we really had. So that gives me enough space back in my pocket by what? Oh, 28 to actually be able to actually pick up the Marvel suit box that we're going to use and uh, do that in the video. So guys, thank you very much for watching. watching. This has been running uh, Black Cat from level 1 to 20. I'm sorry, I just talked constantly there while you're having to you, watch me run through this. You were in the element, you knew what you were doing. I, I've got that, I've re refined this down. In fact, while I'm talking to you, I'm going to do more shit that's actually like, uh, got ingrained into me now from actually playing this. So uh, the store actually, re you re rejig the store and pick up items in it. So I actually have to go in and buy the, these things I use for crafting later on. But while I'm talking to you guys, I'll actually do this exact same thing. Um, yeah, the Marvel Heroes Omega, that was a quick look at the level 1 to 20 for Black Cat, which isn't available yet on the EU store. I, I, I poked the guys to essentially get them to give me a US code so I could check it out because I wanted to play it because the US guys have already got the benefit of it. Us in the EU have still got a few more days before we can pick it up in the store. Black Cat's awesome. She's fast. She's a gadget and poison user, and I am so looking forward to getting her Madrim Hydra um metal on or something that actually increase her explosion stuff because i'm willing to bet it'll be really really useful dps for uh patrols and being able to actually go farming for stuff also i imagine she's going to be really good fun to take on the challenges with with that dps being able to trap all the enemies in one spot it'll actually mean that she can run through the heroic uh challenges and the super heroic challenges without any issues and then i'll have to finish the game for uh, um for the cosmic as well but yeah uh, that's me black cat i hope you've actually enjoyed yourselves i actually is there i'm trying to remember is there a button that actually zoom in can't even remember was there a zoom in yes there is nope that wasn't right <laughs> i just messed up there so the reason why we're doing that uh in the first place was because we're actually having to go to another place to buy our boxes so yeah guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed that first look at uh black cat and marvel heroes omega on the european servers and actually enjoyed seeing her in action i highly recommend you check out whenever she comes available in the store later on this week uh she was available since last friday in the united states but they have specifically stated that the eu store would have her by the end of the week so hopefully uh, i'm not being made out to be a liar but you should see her in the next 48 hours or so so thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed this first look make sure to hit the subscribe button up there in the corner and if you don't do the whole subscribe thing make sure to hit the or not hit make sure to memorize the name past each of skin all you have to do is google it and you can find me easily enough and i hope to actually keep you entertained with more videos very very soon and if you're watching this on youtube this the videos will pop up there'll be a button way up over there and over the top of my head will be a playlist actually of any represent re representation of the channel over in the far corner will be the most recent episode and right next to my head is an episode for you based off of your youtube viewing statistics and the things that you do if you're watching one of my marvel hero omega videos this is probably going to be a Marvel Hero Omega video. If you haven't seen it already, I highly recommend you check it out. I've been covering the news and updates on this game as much as I possibly can because I really do enjoy it. So uh, come and join us here on the PS4 or on Xbox. The game's free to play and you can get a couple of characters and check them out immediately. So I highly recommend you do so. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.